Hi, this video is from intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the important Java interview questions. What is an object's lock and which objects have locks? An object's lock, lock is a mechanism that is used by multiple threads to obtain synchronous access to the object. A thread may execute a synchronous method of an object only after it has acquired the object's lock. All objects and classes have locks. A class lock is acquired on the class class object. Say for example you have a method say transfer account in your class. So it has a shared variable across the multiple threads. So you want to protect that shared variable across multiple threads. So how can I do that? I can ha I can add a synchronous keyword on top of this method. Um, in this method so what does it mean if it's an instance instance method that means there is no static keyword so if it's an instance method whenever a thread enters it will it will obtain the log at the object level okay so first thread entered and it got the object log log at the object level so it will enter and it will execute all the methods and so so the, so the shared variable is protected when i tr in the meantime when i try when thread true try to enter this instance method okay protected instance method it will never it will never it can't go inside that until the thread one releases releases a lock the thread two can never enter okay so if thread one is completed and it's it releases a lock thread two the waiting thread will get the lock and it will enter so this is how we're able to protect the shared variable accessed by the multiple threads so this is at the object level class level if you are having a static synchronized method the lock is open at the class level so any static methods in that class is locked by a single thread so the same way it works for the static method and in the instance method so lock is open at the class level and the object level so this is how we are able to protect the shared variable hope this video is useful thank you and all the best